why do we beat around the bush instead of getting to the point? Well, if somebody said it happens because you're too scared to say what you mean. No, no, no. It's more complicated than that. You might have grew up in a household where you might have been punished for for your authenticity. Yeah, that's a fact. Your uh, oh, let me see. Yeah, your traumas, your early experiences, they all shape who you are today. So as a result, you won't have that shapes you into the current you. So because of that, like. You may not even be aware of that either too. That's that's the scary part of a lot of people. They might not even be aware that like they still have um, all types of problems that they never they have unaddressed problems with their past selves, um, which is why they may be afraid to speak up or may be afraid to um, be who they truly want to be. You might have been rewarded for being a model child or a model person, you know, right from wrong. And then you started to fit into that. So <clears throat> you can't be authentic and accepted at the same time. They usually both don't See exist. See you later. I'm a grind. Hey, Aaron, I appreciate the 100, 100 bits, man. Stay locked in, bro. You're going crazy. So your motion must be up, man. I appreciate the gift and 100 bits. It's, it's very rare. It's very rare that you can be authentic and accepted at the same time. Naturally. You're literally going to have to find people. Who accept themselves to the point where they can accept you because if you're around somebody who doesn't accept themselves they can never, accept, never you. accept you yeah everything they don't live in their authenticity every everything, so everything starts with self I don't, I don't think people understand that's like it's it's the number one thing that people need to understand because it's the foundation for everything like that's why I always like you can't expect deep conversations with people that don't have deep conversations with themselves you can't expect Authentic relationships with people if they don't have authentic relationships with themselves. You can't expect uh, people to be, people to have love for you if they don't have love for themselves. It all starts with yourself. Authenticity makes them uncomfortable. It reminds them of what they're not doing. Yeah, the inadequacies, yeah. Who they're not being and what they're not becoming. It makes them uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And as a human being, we have emotional awareness. So it's not that you're too scared to say what you mean. It's that your emotional awareness, you're trying not to hurt the other person. You're trying to, you know, maintain your relationship and keep it in good standing. You know, you don't want to add a bump in the road to your relationship. But when you mature to realize that that bump in the road is worth it, that, listen, tough conversation a tough situation, a tough statement, that shit is worth it because that other person might need you to be that bold. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that. Um, like, a lot of people want people to tell them what they want to hear instead of what they need to hear. And they run away from what they need to hear because the truth hurts and people want to protect their egos. It's a barrier that they put up. So they may get yes men around them. That's why you see a lot of people with yes men. They don't want to ever be told no. And... Those type of people are the ones that need the truth the most and need the confrontation the most. And when I say confrontation, you're just confronting an issue. It doesn't mean you have to be aggressive or you're starting a problem with nobody. It's just whatever the issue is at hand, that's what you're addressing. A lot of people want away from that. They might need you to be that bold. Listen, you crashing out. Like, to be able to give your homie that conversation, bro, you crashing out. Put that drug down, bro. What are you doing? You're not yourself right now. If you think your homie gonna get mad when you say that, you might avoid saying it. If you think your homie gonna get offended when you say that, you might avoid saying it. If you think it's gonna jeopardize your relationship, you're going to avoid saying it. Did the kid, I appreciate it, 31 months. Hope you're doing good, man. Right, great. So when you, when you know it might offend the other person, when there's a truth that needs to be said, you might avoid it to maintain the healthiness and the uh, good vibes of your relationship. Well, when I realize this, that's that's thin ice. That's not a relationship. That's not a bond. That's wall, that's being on thin ice. Yeah, you people that really have a good relationship with you don't care how you say it or what you say as long as it's because they know that you're saying it out of good faith to help them and it's out of it's just out of genuine care for them and, and their well being and their growth. I had a conversation with one of my homies like this year. Uh, I get too too much into it. Like basically, like. 
he wasn't holding himself accountable. And I had to tell him, like, yo, no, bro, like, it's, it's, it's your fault. Like, you got to hold yourself accountable to that. And he's like, you know what, bro, you're right. And so, like, he didn't take no offense to it. You know, he respected that I was able to be honest with him. And that's how you grow. Like, that's, that's how you help them out. If you really care for somebody, you're going to tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, what they need to hear. That's walking on a, that's like, putting a rug on top of shit and then pretending it doesn't stink like the <laughs> relationship is based on is founded on um, a thin layer of of fake shit and yeah. bullshit is cool until real shit pop up and expose it and clean it the fuck out completely you know and it's better for you and that other person to live in authenticity because that's the strongest way of living. You can't take nothing from a person that's authentic. Yeah, because when you're true to yourself, no, nothing else matters. Like, especially in a world full of lies, we need to be true to yourself. Especially because going even deeper than that, like, when you're a person that's authentic to you, you create an aura with other people. Like, you draw out other people's authenticity with themselves. And you let other people unveil unveil their mask to reveal a different version of themselves that they may not have even knew existed just because of how real and thorough you are with your soul so at the foundation of everything like taekwondo is saying bro yeah you need to be authentic bro like that shit really matters you can't say nothing to them to move them when they're authentic mm. On because the they, they're standing on their square. They're, they have yeah. a base in the field. They, that shit is solid. Can't be moved. And when you get there, like I said, I finally feel like I'm there in life. I yeah. always had confidence. I always had ambition to do what I want. But what was mixed in between that was that I always was aware of just listening. I was, I'm a listener. I listen to anybody and everybody opinion because I, I weigh it out. I analyze it. But what I'm getting to in my life and my confidence is that you can hear a person, but I don't mean that doesn't mean you have to listen to them. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can give a person a space to speak and still hear them, but decide if I want to take what they're saying serious or not. Yeah, it's just taking everything with a grain of salt. Like, that's all he's saying. Like, just, you could, you could, it's to, listening and hearing are two different things. You could hear what a person is saying and not act on what they're telling you um, or respond accordingly or, or, or move accordingly to what they tell you. Or you can just let them out. Let, let them say what they have to say and then you just decide if it's worth you applying what they say to your life or whatever the situation calls for if it's worth my time mm -hmm. if it's if it's if it's worth being listened to or influenced by yeah if it and i'm just so cold with it now that i don't care who it is or who it's coming from and before when i was younger i felt like maybe if i was related to a person if i knew him for a long time so obligated. maybe just those two things because to be honest you i never just it was never a status thing to me. Like, I never would doubt somebody that's home. Like, oh, this nigga ain't got nothing to say. It just was like a relationship thing. And now I'm just like so blunt with just the way I am in life and just how I'm living. It's just like something needs to be said. Something needs to be addressed. And it has to be. That's just, it just is necessary. And that's where you want to get, chat. Because if you get used to living on top of a fucking sheet of thin ice, you might be surrounded by snakes and fake people and you don't even know it because if you haven't applied pressure on them enough for them to bite you. You don't even know your homie a snake. You don't even know your friend a snake. You don't even know your uncle will stab you in the back because you've been biting your tongue your entire life. You don't know how they will really act when you step up and stand up. And then at that point, nigga, let it, let, let it clear out. That's when all hell I'm break loose yeah, I might hear people. that the whole time if somebody about to take a shower. Um, hopefully it's not too loud. I can turn the sensitivity of the mic down. But listen, chat. Let let that's 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 like draining the swamp, bro. When you start losing, when you listen, just imagine right now, this moment on you stop biting your tongue. Oh, all hell's gonna break loose. Yeah, bro. I've 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 learned to stop biting my tongue a lot too. Um, that just took a long time for me. And what what happened? What I guess got me to being able to do that was just a lot of people. I realized a lot more people would come to me for questions or or like advice when I stopped asking, like revealing my tongue. Like I remember some people would be like, 
uh, one of my homeboys, he in the music, he was like, yo, like, I, I, I ask you, like, questions on my music and listen to it and really give me feedback because I know you're not going to sugarcoat it. And I respect that. Like, people people are going to respect it. Like, and if they don't, then, you know, it is what it is. You just got to move on from it. But a lot of people respect it. Like, people want to, I think people will be hurt more by you lying to them and, by, by, and like, biting your tongue than they will be by you being honest. Until you recognize that the genuine people don't even flinch. You see, somebody that know you love them and know you care about them. It's all out of love. You, I swear to God, because I got a father like that. My father can say some crazy shit to me. And I'm going to bite the bullet because I know he loved me. You see? I'm going to humble myself because I know he loved me. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to get offended. I'm not gonna fight him to death and cut him off. Yeah. Because I know he on my side. I know he we on the same team. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a trust thing. Mm -hmm. And if I was to say something to him and, and be honest with him, it's out of love. He know I'm not trying to play with him. He know I'm not trying to play him. And that's Anybody how you know the conversation. That's how you know the relationship's out of, out of trust. Like, uh, that's how you know it's an authentic relationship because y'all both trust each other to be honest with each other. Anything outside of that is is fabricated and is false and shit is superficial and not real. How that feels like you're trying to play them or fight or argue, that should tell you how they look at you. If that if, if me saying I'm uncomfortable with something or if I let a boundary be known, I don't like that, and that person says fuck it, that tells you how they care about you. They don't care about you at all. So what I'm saying is, when the snakes clear the, glad, the grass, they never deserve to be in your yard. They never deserve to be in your yard. You've been allowing them to sit there and, and just not bite you. You need to shake that. You need to you need to step it all in the grass and see who bites. I, I need to see who gonna bite when I when I keep it real, because that lets that let me know you've only been you've really been. Also, look look within yourself to see if you if you get upset when people keep it real with you. Because if that's the case, you got to look within yourself. And that shows how you unable to, or how you have a barrier in the ego that's, that's protecting you from being able to take honest criticism. A potential problem this whole time. Not just freeloading, but maybe leeching off your energy, maybe damn near trying to control you, holding you back, or maybe not ready for who you really are. We can stop right there and start reacting if y'all, do y'all want to swim or do y'all want to drown? Hey, that was a good video about Taekwondo. Um, I always put some knowledge, but shout out to him. But yeah, that's a, um, yeah, bro, like, basically we saying speaking your mind is much deeper than you just being uh, fearful, uh, not having confidence. Be the people around your circle, you brush your tongue for them. It could be the people that, um, what else? It could be, like you said, he mentioned earlier about childhood, and that definitely plays a role. Your early, your early experiences shape who you are. Without you even knowing, a lot of the subconscious, it observes every single thing that we do every single thought that passes through our, our brain it, it it's like a gatekeeper and it know it notices everything it observes everything so even in some ways you may not even be knowing why you're doing certain things you have to uncover that yourself you gotta really look inward and self-reflect but anyway that was another video got a little bit more cooking up as again shout out to taekwondo um probably like i don't know probably like a couple years older than me a couple months maybe i don't know but yeah you're on a good path though and everybody that's thinking about this you know you having trouble speaking your peace or speaking your mind it's going to get to the point where like you just gonna have to say fuck it and you just gotta let people know how it is and be blunt with them and you're gonna cut out a lot of fake people in your life like that so see how it works for you anyway though i'm gonna stop rambling that was the video deuces